I'm pleased to present this guided video through running a peer-to-peer -peer caregiver support group. I'm Kari Barrett, creator of the Unexpected Caregiver Support Group. You can download this program by going to unexpectedcaregiver.com. Through this video, I'll show you how easy it is to run a group that offers the much needed emotional support for all of us giving care to family and friends. Caregiving is a concern for millions of adult caregivers around the globe. We really should expect to become caregivers, but most of us enter into this role unprepared and hence are unexpected caregivers. Unlike professional-led groups, peer-to-peer -peer support is a system of giving and receiving help founded on key principles of respect, shared responsibility, and mutual agreement of what is helpful. Anyone can lead this group, and groups can be formed at churches, corporate settings, neighborhood groups, senior centers, school settings. The options are endless. In this video, you will learn how you can be the leader of a peer-to-peer -peer caregiver support group. I've made it easy to do by providing all you need, including a script to guide you step-by-step -step through leading a meeting. Whether you're a first-time moderator or a seasoned group leader, the script makes it easy for anyone to guide this peer-to-peer -peer support group. It is important that the group starts and ends on time. As with any meeting, we ask that you turn off your cell phones or set them on vibrate. This is a family caregiver support group whose purpose is to provide a safe place for caregivers to vent and seek support from people in similar situations. Each meeting starts with a check-in, allowing individuals to express where they are emotionally with no feedback. After check-in, there is a time for discussion or sharing of personal stories. And more and more things were going wrong and she just she needed some somebody else so I'm a little nervous about how they're getting along he doesn't have a car so I'm doing all the driving and helping a lot with other things attending a support group for the first time can be uncomfortable and many family caregivers feel embarrassed that they can't handle all the duties associated with giving care extend a hand introduce yourself and remind newcomers that we all come to this group with our own emotional struggles. This is a safe place. Whatever is shared in the group stays with the group. That is what we agree to in attending this unexpected caregiver support group. As the moderator reads the script, individuals can center themselves, taking the necessary time to tune in to their own needs. Let's begin with a check-in and go around the room. Remember, this is not a time to comment or discuss, but simply to express how you're feeling at the moment. Check-in is the most important part of the group in that it allows for the individual to share where they are at this moment without feedback. Depending on group size, each person gets up to five minutes to check in, but many take less time. I can't stress enough the importance of not giving feedback during check-in, but simply allowing someone to have the floor and say what they need to express. Encourage fellow group members to nod their heads, but not interrupt someone's check-in. When someone comments on another's check-in, gently remind that person that this is a time of no feedback. We can comment and discuss after we check in. Me too. Excuse me. Uh, a reminder to everyone that uh, this is the check-in time where the person gets an uninterrupted chance to say how they feel to everyone. So let's just. Uh, Let's just remember that, okay? It's also okay to simply say pass. For some people, being present is all that matters. I should go, but I, I, I'd just rather pass right now, thank you. Following check-in, the group has the opportunity to engage in a discussion topic or share individual stories. Unlike check-in, this is an open conversation and sharing, allowing for group interaction. The purpose of the discussion topics is to provide education around caregiving and aging. Twelve discussion topics come with the initial package and include questions for group discussion. A typical support group runs for 45 minutes to an hour. The length is adaptable for your environment. Reading the script not only guides the opening of the meeting, but also helps close the meeting. Saying the serenity prayer can be a sweet way to tie up the group, sending group members off with a reminder that self-care and knowing one's limitations is crucial to being a family caregiver. 
Remember, you don't have to be a professional or know all the answers to run this group. So I invite you to start a family caregiver support group today. It's an easy process and I'll help you every step of the way.